Hi and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for coming by. Today's video is going to be a furniture flip video. I just I originally wanted to do this dresser that's in our master bedroom. I will be doing that another time because I decided to do this one. I've had it for quite a while and I love the mid-century modern look to it. I just think it needed kind of a little pick-me-up. So if you'd like to see how I did that, please keep watching. But before we get into the actual flip, I wanted to show you I am collabing with the awesome Corey from Desert DIY. I've wanted to collab with her for quite a while now. She does some really, really fantastic furniture flips on her channel. If you're wanting to update or completely redo furniture in your house or you want to start thrifting and changing them to fit your, your decor style, then her channel is the one to watch for sure. She does so many different styles and they always turn out fabulous. So after you're done watching my video, head on over to Corey's channel, show her some love, subscribe, and tell her I sent you. So as for this dresser, it needed some work. The edging piece was starting to fall off. There was a bunch of scratches and nicks and because this isn't real wood, I couldn't really sand it that I know of <laughs> and restain it. But I love the little details on it. I love those handles. I love the legs or the feet of the dresser. And I just, I don't know. I'm really liking the mid-century modern style. So I just started by removing the drawers and I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalked paint. And it's a really light gray. I love using these brushes whenever using chalk paint. And for any furniture people, <laughs> You might want to look away, including my father-in-law, because I didn't have any clamps that would work for this. So the little trick I use is some Gorilla Tape. But seriously, don't kill me for that. <laughs> it's all I had. So I just wanted to fix the edging along the dresser. And it's just like a, I don't know, a rubbery plastic piece. So I thought Gorilla Glue would work fantastic. So I squirted that in there pretty good and then use some Gorilla Tape to hold it on while it dried. And I did the same on the other side. That side was worse than the other one. But like I said, I didn't have clamps big enough to hold it. So the tape actually ended up working really, really well. So don't laugh at me. <laughs> so I just let it dry for the amount of time that it said. Probably a couple hours more because I was doing other stuff. So after it dried, I just wiped it down again after removing the tape and I'm just going to take some of this chalk paint and paint the top and the sides and the front, not the drawers though, because I was kind of going for a two-tone look that I've seen a lot lately on Pinterest and I think it looks so cool with these, um, I don't know, these older pieces. And with chalk paint, if you're not familiar with it, you don't have to do the prep like with the primer and sanding and all that. I'm sure it would work better if you did, but I've never used primer with chalk paint and it's always worked really well. So after the first coat dried, I put on a second one and I always go in the opposite direction that I did the first time for the second coat. And then after that dried, I just went ahead and sanded it really lightly. I didn't want to distress it or anything. I just wanted to take out some of the, um, you know, the heavy lines from the paintbrush. And then I wiped it down and then I'm going to seal it with this polycrylic. I use the clear satin. And this stuff is so easy to use. And if you saw my hutch flip or my um, my two tables that we redid, we used this on all of those. But I have to tell you, the picnic table that we did an experiment with to see if it would hold up outside, it did not. It's not meant for outside, but we thought we'd give it a shot. So don't use this on outdoor furniture. Then after that dried, I put the drawers in and I thought I was finished because that's what the inspiration pieces looked like. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like in case you guys like this and want to do something like this. 
but I wasn't happy with it. It just looked too plain. So I asked my husband and my son and they suggested painting the, um, just the middle drawers. And if you've been with my channel for a while, you know I hate painter's tape. It's just, it's something personal. I don't like taking the time to tape it and then I don't have the patience to wait to see what it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's dumb. So I have to clean up some of my smudges and I use a magic eraser for that and it works excellent. And I didn't want to paint on the inside. You see that line? that goes around on the inside of the drawers. I just thought that was a cool detail, so I tried my hardest not to get paint in there, but because I'm not the best, I ended up getting paint in there. <laughs> but I'll show you how I fixed that in just a minute. And I went ahead and did that on the other side. So to fix the lines that had paint in there, I just took a paint marker and in black and went around the edges in that inset line and I think it looks so cool. Um, it, the drawers need a second coat, but here it is all finished. I really, really love it. I love, I don't know, it still has that, um, I don't know, vintage furniture look, but it's kind of updated. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check out Corey's channel. Thanks so much for collabing with me, Corey. Thank you all for all your love and support, and I'll see you next time. Bye!